Fellas, what's going on? Got asked to do some honest review on the 320 Spectre Comp single port from SIG. We mounted a um, Romeo 1 Pro on it. I'm really impressed with this optic. I, um, it was my first time shooting SIG optics. I threw it on there, super easy to put on. Didn't have to zero it, took it right out to 25 and shot really tight groups. So I just threw on a gas pedal. Other than that, I was really surprised, man, when you, um, for the guys who know best, it's got this double, it's got this double spring in it. So it doesn't run as smooth as like an X5, but because it's running this comp and they're not sure what ammo you're gonna use, 115 grain, 124, something custom, they wanna make sure that you're getting proper ejections. So it doesn't feel like a race gun, but it does at the same time. The return to zero, super crisp, nice and flat. It's got the weight. It cycles really smooth, one-handed action. It's really, man, it's, it's really impressive out of the box for all the different little aftermarket stuff that normally would take you a long time to piecemeal together. They kind of just did it all for you. Iron sights are really good. Comps, perfect. It's timed. You don't have to really mess with it. I know a lot of guys, that's like their big thing. They don't know how to install them. They're trying to do it on YouTube and they put it on too tight. And now you're not getting the tolerance or you're not getting the, the separation between comp and slide. So you're not getting a full ejection. Maybe it's too loose. It's untimed. It's cross threaded. It's off 10, 15 degrees. We don't want that. So straight out of the box, this thing's impressive, dude. Like we shot it. I, um, I was surprised. I thought because the slide didn't feel as smooth as an X5 Legion, I thought it would have more recoil, even though it's got a comp on it. Just, you know, not really my world coming with a military background, but I was impressed with how natural it felt. And I think it's really because of this tungsten infused frame. I'm a huge fan of this, so is Cole. It feels like for people who don't know anything about a gun, if I close their eyes and I give them an empty gun unloaded and I tell them to put it in their hand and we walk down the selection of pistols we have here, every time they get to a 320 series or anything tungsten infused, they all stop and go, that's about what I thought a pistol would feel like. Just the weight, the ergonomics, the presentation, just how it fits, the beaver tail, everything else. Like That's my favorite platform to shoot. It feels like it translates to um, military law enforcement, people with large hands, just larger individuals, period. I find it's easier to control. It's easier to teach off of for me personally. Does the grip matter? Does the comp matter? Can we get away with one and not the other? What do they look like when you use, utilize them both? It just, it feels like it drives out nice flat and level. But if you guys haven't had a chance to try one, dude, you got to. You got to go to your nearest gun shop, somebody who's got the inside, and give this thing a run. It's worth the price for sure. 320 Spectre Comp. My favorite gun out of the box. As far as duty section goes and duty assignment profiles go, this is my favorite gun I've ever shot out of the box that I would actually carry for duty. For me personally, it's X5 Legion, and I really like it because of the weight. It's got a tungsten infused grip. We've got a weight inside of the inside of the actual grip itself, and it makes this slide feel like it's on a rail. Like, I mean, it's amazing. Like out of the box, dude. Like, like it fucking sends it right. Like you don't need a whole lot to it. I threw a gas pedal just because I had a bunch of thumb stuff I was working through for a long time, so it gives me a, a spot to rest it where I can really clamp down my grip. But this thing recoils on a rail, so it's not really needed. But some of the nuanced stuff I was just figuring out is I wanted to try this Romeo 3 Max. This is Max Michelle's like competition optic. And you have to get a base plate that really has to be kind of form fitted on there. But if you look at it side by side, it's just a little bit higher. So we've got to get used to that. And when you go to sight it in, it's a couple inches off or a couple inches high. So we've got to be able to mess with that a little bit. But the window feels like an SRO. It's such a big profile when you present it. And because it's slightly over the bore line, when you drive it out in between your two eyes, it feels super natural. It's a big window, super crisp dot, but it, it feels like it presents clean. You don't have to search or try to level for it or the finite little movement, even when you're trying to learn. If we just stare where we want it to go and present it in between our eyes, it's already there. So if you guys haven't checked those things out, um, for the X5 Legion, you have to have a base model unless you get the Max Michelle model, which most of us can't find anyway. But if you're gonna shoot and you wanna try a bigger window, this thing is pretty nice, dude. Max Michelle, big ass optic, 
it's got the striker plate you can get with it. It, um, it runs well, man. And with that gas pedal, there's nothing else done to this. I mean, it's completely stock. What we have, nothing. That's the best stock gun that I've shot. If you guys get a chance, you guys go to the gun range, you get a chance to, to shoot an X5 Legion, I definitely, I definitely recommend it. I mean, you can feel it, dude. It's on rails. So, that is my favorite out of the box, duty style pistol. I don't have to change anything to it. So if you guys haven't checked out X5 Legion from Sig Sauer, definitely recommend that. And that'll kind of segue into every other pistol that I super love and all the different stuff I've done to it, but it's all based off the X5, really. So I appreciate you guys. Drop us a comment section. Let us know what you think. We'll see you next time. Appreciate it. I fucking love this gun.